so should should be interesting to see how what they do to shake up this top eight. You know, we're not we're not getting that like very standard top eight that I'm used to seeing from the EU since we have lost some of the heavy hitters here uh, already before we even got to top eight. And then we got a new uh, new names here as well. So both of our Taros, very common team yet again, double hammers. And then here on the other side of things, we got Bren and Bodvar, uh, very common people as well. You got the axe and uh, another hammer. So the heavy weapons definitely showing up. A little bit of team damage to start it off for the red team. They do end up finding this hammer. Uh, right, Ryu, yet to pick up a weapon though. The denial coming out from this blue team. You see it on the right side, Rakushan trying to find his way back onto the stage. Needs to help his teammate out a little bit because Ryu is just stuck on the left side. Russian Mafia attempted, but not enough damage for the follow up down air. Okay. Nice. He's that double swing of the neutral. Uh, Sig, I think he's hitting his teammate though, so. Ooh, what a punish shoot right there. Knowing that he was going to try to go for that uh, recovery. He managed to weave out of that and let his teammate get some free damage. Ooh, unarmed heavy uh, or side heavy. Yo, that was actually oh, wow. uh, pretty insane coming out from this red team. Team combo. What? <laughs> All right. A little bit of improv there. Not quite working out as the cider does launch Rio. And that is uh, still him surviving, though. Had plenty of jumps. The down Sig will finally take the first stock off of one of the red team members. Meanwhile, Rakushin swinging for the fences. Gonna try to punish this ground pack coming up from the Bryn, but nope. Recovery will get the stock. Oh no. Oh no. Where'd your jumps go? Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, he just kind of like drifted to his demise. Didn't even really see anybody over there with him. But I was too busy looking at the right side to just watch this man. Uh, fall to his demise uh, as said but doesn't seem to be uh too bad it is starting to look a little uh little bad though since they have not been able to add too much damage up they finally get a solid hit onto a uh, poly shot not keeping this even at least on the stocks oh, oh. chase dodge not quite high enough rakashain still gets the wall touch though and that's really nice for the red team falling there would have been very bad oh for sure all right. Okay, so the red team, I was going to say, red team able to uh, give themselves a slight lead, but, you know, that only matters if he can get back to the stage, just barely touching that wall, now going for a ground pound, but, oh, no, I... Oh, that was smart. Just hit me, bro. Like, <laughs> hit me. <laughs> just do it. A little bit of vampirism to keep him alive. And Rio, though, gets bounced off the stage. He is out of there, so it's just a blue team team combo. I love the adaptation, changing it up to a recovery instead of what would have regularly been a neutral signature to put Rakushane off stage. And this is really bad for Rakushane. No weapon, no jumps. Still gets the wall touch, but no health to play with. Yeah, he's oh, I thought he actually got that hit himself. He was weaving for a second trying to get that uh, weapon, but a little too obvious on getting the weapon, obviously. Uh, for Polyshot to easily get that Nair. He was like, I mean, you're obviously trying to get back into this game, get yourself a, a strong weapon so you can side air as once. And he's like, I'm just gonna hit you with this neutral air, get out of here. First game going to uh, Zyder and Polyshot. There we go. Blue team able to take game. Rakushane and Rio though, showing their power, showing what they can do uh, to get here in that top eight. Of course, uh, considering their relative no names, this is a fantastic finish if they go down here. But of course, they want more as they go right back on to Shipwreck for game number two in this loser's top Three, eight. Two, one, brawl. Right. Yeah, Shipwreck getting a lot of play here in EU. Very interesting, too, because, you know, we're always talking about how, like, passive EU can be and things like that, but... Shipwreck to me isn't really a passive stage. This is a stage that you take people when you want to get these stocks dropping early because they don't have as much wall to kind of cling and hang out with or hang out on uh, when it comes down to a 2v1 or honestly, when it, even when it comes down to a 1v1, you just don't have that much wall Ooh. to work with. Oh, wow. Big pickup. <laughs> Big pickup by Rakushane right there. Yeah, those short walls not helping out the blue team as Rakushane found that neutral signature. Just off the mark on the second one, onto the blue team would have been a nice team combo. But the side Sig on the wake up will take the stock off Rio and keep this stock count even. Okay. 
Oh, almost got that new slur off the top, but luckily, both are able to live to see another day. Yeah, hold on, man. Ratchet Chain's kind of going crazy right now. Yeah, and that's yeah, the weapon. Some momentum on the side. Some nice signs of right. life from this red team, like you're saying, that momentum. Again, the side sick, though. Rio is in trouble. We don't want to see Rakushane be left in the 1v2, and there's a very real possibility as Rio goes down to his final stock. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking this might... I mean, this could potentially be a 3-0, but they're getting closer and closer right now. Get They keep keeping it even, too, but actually, they got a slight, slight lead now that uh, the damage is looking a little higher on this boat bar. He is actually taking, man, I, I, I'm looking at the damage, and as I was looking up there to see what color he had, he got hit twice by Taros, and that was a whole color change. It's that high-strength Taros with these heavy-hitting weapons. Nice neutral light. Trying to let Rakushan go for that 1v1, maybe just take down the blue team, put them in that position of having to fight the 1v2. Still a little bit of damage to go, though, as Rio's in trouble. Rio's out of there. It's all left to Rakushan in the 1v2. Oh. Okay. Well, I actually don't really get to see a lot too many often uh too many KOs often with that down sick, but my man was pretty deep into the red, so understandable. Okay, finding these sick. finding all these neutral areas right now. Man, this is all ha this is all uh, hammer work right here from Poly Shot. <laughs> Finally takes a shot there. There's still that hope though. Rakushane is taking a lot of damage though. He wants this stock off the blue Brin. Going for the nair there. Still can't get it. 720. Poly Shot is just finding punishes on Rakushane. Nice round pound one v one, but just too much damage built up, and that's gonna be another one going the way of the blue team. Yeah, he couldn't get out. He couldn't get out of that last hit. I mean, he already exhausted all his resources, and so yeah, just kind of landed, kind of drifted slowly onto that uh, recovery. But yeah, what a what a nice way to at least get that down to a one stock game. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to really capitalize off that as he uh, got hit immediately. And now we got to swap over here to the Val from Rio. Yeah, this is an interesting swap. No carryover from the previous boat bar pick. We'll see how well that works out. Uh, Gauntlets and Sword, lots of setup opportunities. So might see like a very team combo heavy playstyle coming out from Rio. But at this point, they've got to reverse 3-0 in order to win this set. Yeah. Very interesting how this one plays out. Uh, you know, even even with no crossover though, Val, I feel like she's another character I see uh, quite a bit of. Unfortunately though, she will be seeing that Blast Zone after getting caught up. Easy uh, confirm right there from poly shot or easy edge guard if you will uh from poly shot who going for the neutral sig nice punish red team just falling apart here in game number three the swap over to the val have not been seeing what the reason for it is just yet as a wake up gravity cancel neutral light punishes the whiff side light yeah I, yeah this valve is kind of just getting ran over right now i don't even think i feel like she's had a weapon in her hand for maybe maybe like 10 seconds maybe <laughs> like 10 seconds at best but yeah a lot of just taking damage after damage finally gets uh, a recovery here and then a down light side air the easy bnb and i don't have to take the stock just yet oh look at that though i'd like that's the team where we like to see Yo, Rakushin just DI'd an unarmed recovery coming out from this blue team. Rio now down to his final stock. The follow-up side air. Red team is falling apart. Two stocks left to the five of the blue team. Yeah, this is domination right here for show. Actually domination. Happens to the best of us, though. I mean, like, I, probably a, a swap just because like, he didn't really know what else he could do on his brand, even though I, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really feel like that was, it was a, it was a bad thing. But it is what it is. I mean, can't fault him. Got here in the top eight of things. Uh, but man, this is looking tough here in game number three. Still surviving on their final stocks. There is that possibility if they take down the blue Brin that they can get the 1v2s. But just like that, it's denied. And the push-up's coming out. Blue team feeling real confident that this one is in the bag. 
Man got hit and he still taunted. Let's go. Yeah, easy, easy money right there for the blue team. Yeah, that, that last game definitely didn't go well at all. Uh, Val, I think Rio, like, he was just really not able to grab a weapon. I mean, most of his damage probably is unarmed. Uh, took a lot of damage. Lost those stocks relatively early and things like that. So, yeah, blue team probably shot and Zyder looking real good today. Looking real good today. I know they were on the loose side of things, so obviously they lost uh, before, but they're making a, a decent losers run right now. Yeah, unfortunate end to Rio and Rakashane. Always love to see some new names in the top eight of things, but uh, not going to see too much more of them just yet. Of course, still two more majors in the Brawlhalla season. We've got the Mammoth Cup and we've got the World Championship not too uh, long from now. So uh, could see more of Rio and Rakashane. For now, though, we are going to go to the other side of the bracket to check in with Cheddar Rowan Viper as they are going to be going up against Heisen and Simple. There you see in that bracket updated Heisen and Simple on the lower side going up against Chedero and Viper. And over on the other side, Zyder and 720 Polyshot.